Let's talk about at first and also at last. Each one of them it can simply be boiled down into at between, right? So for example, if you're trying to add the first note into your list, it will be as if you're adding in between the header and the headers next, which will be the first note in the list. And if you want to add to the last, it will be symmetrically to be adding uh, added in between the trailer that got previous, which is the last note in the uh, in the list, and also the trailer itself, right? You can see how useful it is to use this uh, add between as a helper method. We'll talk about inserting to the middle uh, a little bit later, but let's now try to trace these two uh, methods using the add between as a helper method. So let's now consider this JUnit test, which I already provided to you, is to test inserting to the front and to the end. Let me show to you very quickly how you can find them. If you just go to the uh, source package, uh, source project I made available to you and go under tests and then you will see test generic DLL string. Okay, if you go there, you will see this is the method that we are tracing right now. Right? I'm going to trace uh, trace it uh, using the paper. However, I would encourage you to really try to trace it using debugger to really see how the memory addresses will actually change. That's also very important. Uh, phenomenon for you to observe about reference aliasing. I'll leave that as, uh, as an exercise to you. If you're not too sure how to do this exercise, you can reach out to me, maybe during the office hour or Q&A. Let's now try to trace it. And I already set up the uh, the uh, the list partially just to save our time. And let me first of all highlight it, what's going on over here. So you can see the very first line over here, we are in simply initializing a an empty doubly linked list. So that's exactly what we got, right? You got DLL, doubly linked list, size would be zero, and we got the header, and also we got the trailer. And symmetrically, the header's next is the trailer, and the trailer's previous is also the header. And we got the null over here for the next of the trailer and for the previous of the uh, header, both being null. And also their elements for the data would just be null, right? That's really the properties of an empty list. And we got header and trailer, already existing in the empty uh, list. That's something uh, we spoke about earlier. Let's see how we can actually add uh, at first and also at last. We'll see how many we can do. Let's start with, let's say list.add first mark, right? What's gonna happen in this line? So apparently we're going to call the at first over here at first, and it's going to find out the predecessor being the header and also the uh, successor being the header the get next, right? So this will be the predecessor, just remind you, and also this will be the successor, right? And what are they? In the case of the, uh, in this case, the predecessor would just be the head, would just be the header, right? So you can think about this one here is the predecessor. And also header the get next. Header the get next will just be the trailer. So that will be the successor. And once we get the uh, predecessor and successor located, we want to add this particular node storing mark in between. That's what we want to do, right? To really avoid the diagram to be too messy. So I would suggest we actually try, uh, whenever we actually reset a pointer, we'll remove the old pointers. I think that'll be better. Otherwise, we'll get too many pointers at the end. Let's try to do that. And let me, now I'm going to create a new object storing mark, right? So I'm going to put uh, the objects over here. I think that'll be about the right place. Okay, let me put a uh, mark maybe here. All right, we're gonna get Alan a little bit later. All right, so remember the app between. I'm not gonna trace the app between line by line, which we did earlier. You can refer to the uh, earlier part of this video, but you can definitely uh, uh, think about what's gonna happen visually. So we're gonna add uh, this particular node story mark in between. So what's gonna happen is the element is actually going to store mark and we're going to reset these two pointers for sure so let me just remove them all right so what's going to happen is we're going to get mark the previous is going to actually i also need to delete this arrow over here so we're going to do mark the previous is going to point to the header over here and also the header the next is going to point to this in between node over here, and also the next of mark is actually going to point to the trailer, right? The successor, and the successor, which is the trailer, the previous is going to point to this in between node. 
So this is the layout of the objects after executing this. First call to the app first. Hopefully you're fine, right? And of course, we're gonna increment the size by one, right? That's the, the last line for the app between. Let's talk about the second one. Uh, let me use green. And the second one over here is going to be at first again, and we're going to do Allen. And for Allen, so we're going to create just another object over here, right? I'm going to put it here, right? And this object over here is going to store Allen. I'm going to remove the pointer as we set them, but in just a moment. So what's going to happen is the element over here is actually going to point to just Allen over here. And what's going to happen now? We're going to actually do again at first. So we're going to say header and also header that get next and successor, right? What what would they be? The header is still here. So let me say predecessor over here, right? What about successor? Successor will be uh, the header dot next, which will be not trailer anymore, but this particular mark node. So what's going to happen is this will be the successor as far as this particular uh, app between method is concerned, right? So now we we have located the predecessor and also successor. We want to re, uh, insert this particular new node, inserting Allen in between, right? How do we do that? Well, we're going to reset the pointers actually in this way. So let me remove these two pointers over here between the successor and predecessor. We're going to reset it. And the way to do it, similar to before, so after this, the in between node, the previous is going to be the header. And also the next is going to be the successor, right? And also for the successor, the previous is going to be this inserted in between node. And also finally the headers next is going to be this uh, in between node. You can see now the Allen node has become the very first node rather than mark, right? Every time you say uh, you call at first, it's going to be the consequence. Right, so you can see now we already invoke the app between for two times. And here it's really important to see what to pass as the uh, predecessor and what to pass as the uh, successor, right? And of course, if you try these assertions over here, you're gonna see that, right? Of course, we also, after inserting Allen, we also need to increment the point uh, size from one to two, right? Just don't forget. The size will be two and also uh, list.getFirst.getElements. List.get first will be the one after the header, right? This is header, so this will be the first node. That get element will be Allen. And also the list.get first, and then that get next, which will be the second node, and then we get mark. So that's exactly what's happening over here. All right, so what we have done so far is we have cr uh, constructed a list of size two with uh, two nodes in between. And the way to achieve it is by calling the at first method two times. So what you really want to pay attention to is about the, how the predecessor and successor have been set up for the at first. Okay, and the remaining part of the code, I would like to assign that as an exercise for you, but I want to point out what you really want to watch out for. Okay, so I'm going to say this part over here is going to be assigned to you as an exercise. This part over here, right? So it's going to be your exercise to do the tracing. And for the tracing, you can either try to draw a picture on a piece of paper, or you can simply use a debugger to see the memory addresses. But if you can do both, I'll be even happier. Okay, we'll see. All right, so if you got any trouble completing this exercise, you can let me know. That might uh, actually suggest a lack of your understanding for the doubly linked list. So when you complete this exercise, I will let you to pay attention to the following. Since these two, uh, the main Intention is really for you to call the add last method for two times. So you're going to start with the empty list and then add last to insert the first node. And then you're going to add last again to insert a second node. So you want to pay attention to when you actually trace the add last method, exactly what would be the predecessor and what would be the successor, right? For the very first time, you're going to see the predecessor will be just the trailer that get previous. I'll give you a little bit of intuition quickly. And for the successor, it will be the, uh, sorry, the successor is going to be the trailer over here, right? So think about if you got successor over here being the trailer, and also you got the uh, the predecessor being trailer that get previous. In the case of an empty list, you're going to get the uh, successor dot, uh, and you're gonna get trailer that get previous which is going to be just a header, happens to be. So that's gonna be for the very first time when the list is actually empty, right? I'm gonna put it down over here, right? This is the case where 
the list is actually empty. And then once you insert more nodes, the successor will always be trailer when you when you call it at last. But the uh, predecessor is going to be different whenever you uh, call it at last because you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get different node that comes before the trailer, right? So that's something you want to uh, watch out for and complete this exercise for tracing and then uh, we can move on to the next part. And the next part is we still want to see exactly how we can in, uh, implement the get uh, insert into the middle. So we talk about how to insert to the uh, front. We talk about how to insert to the end. Let's talk about how to insert to the middle. I'll just give you one ex uh, just one simple example and then I, I can leave the rest to you as an exercise. Okay. So this is just another test case. You can look at in the source code. Uh, this one here is going to be test string doubly linked list at at, right? If you go to the Eclipse over here, and again, uh, if you open up the, uh, the class, and you will see this is the one to look at, at at over here, right? So we are trying to add into different indices in the list, right? I'm gonna do the very first one together with you just to trace it to make sure you're okay. And for the next two, I'm gonna leave them as exercises for you. But again, I'll, you'll be encouraged to do the exercise both on the paper and also on the Eclipse to really trace the code. It's so important to understand what's going on. All right, so we're gonna start with uh, the empty link list over here. So that one is going to be over here, right? Doubly link list. The same setup as before, right? Doubly linked list, we got header and we got trailer. The same setup. Let me just uh, do the very first one to get it with you. How about uh, also blue over here? Let's say we only do this one here, add add. Add add is going to be uh, index zero, which means we want to insert a node at index zero as the first node, basically, right? And for add add, I'll leave the implementation detail to you, but you can see over here, these are the three lines that we have to actually call, right? You can also see the uh, the code listing in the uh, slide. But this one here, we're gonna figure out the predecessor thinking this way. Whenever you want to call the app between as a helper method, you wanna figure out what's gonna be the predecessor and what's gonna be the successor. In the case where we want to insert into index zero, well, if you wanna insert into index zero over here, in that case, the predecessor should be at index minus one conceptually. And what about uh, the uh, the successor? The successor should be whatever the predecessor is, that get next, right? That's the idea. So that's why you will see, it's so important to see these two, uh, these lines over here. You can see the predecessor and also successor. They will be set to be at index uh, i minus one, and also predecessor that get next, right? That's the details I want you to watch out for. And once you have done this, you're going to actually call predecessor and successor as the arguments in, into the app between. What about in this particular case? Zero minus one over here, right? Because i is actually zero. In this case, i will be just zero. So what will be the uh, minus one uh, position? So that's why I said the get node at. That's something you can definitely see. If you, I'll leave the study to you, but if you go to uh, the doubly linked list and go to here and go to the get node at method, you will see that actually said that i e, uh, is equal to minus one means to retrieve the header node. And when i is equal to get that size, it means to really retrieve the uh, uh, trailer node, okay? Somehow I didn't really have this comment to retrieve the trailer node, right? You can definitely see the implementation here. I'm gonna leave that to you, right? All right, so we're gonna see exactly how this is gonna work. In this case, the predecessor is going to be at index minus one, which means it's going to be the header. Predecessor, which will be index minus one. And then what about successor? A six, successor, we don't really call the get node at anymore. We simply say whatever the predecessor is, you're gonna get next to the successor. Remember, there was a, one assumption we made about the app between. We say that the predecessor and successor should be connected together. So that's why calling get next over here would be sufficient. And successor will just be whatever the predecessor is dot get next, which will be the trailer in this case when the list is empty. So this will be the successor. Right, and then we're gonna add in between these two, right? That's basically the same process as we did earlier. Let me just for completion, let me finish this line. So I'm gonna put the node over here, right? 
and that node is actually going to store Ellen. Okay, let me just uh, change the color over here, over here, and then I'm gonna delete uh, these pointers because they will be reset. And delete this one as well. Oh, actually, just here. And how are we gonna set a pointer? So first of all, this is going to store Ellen. And it's uh, the in between nodes. Next is going to point to the successor, and the successor's previous is going to point to the in between node symmetrically, right? And also, its previous is going to point to the predecessor, and the predecessor's next is going to point to this new node, right? You really want to get comfortable about the app between over here. Let me just highlight once more, and then I'll leave the rest as exercise. So this will be the predecessor, and this will be the successor over here. And then we actually got the four symmetric pointers. Next, also next, and also previous, and also previous, right? And what about, what about the exercise? These two, I want you to do them as exercises to trace them. Tracing. And once you have done these, you can you can check that all these assertions should really uh, success uh, should really succeed by evaluating to true for each one of them. Alrighty, so that's about the uh, app between. I would like to speak about, and you can see about the running time for at first and also for at last. They are simply making a call to the app between, which will be itself just constant. So that's why both of them are just constant, right? Constant and also constant. What about in, uh, what about at at in this case? Well, in this case, would that be still constant? Well, not really, because as soon as you call the get node at, it's going to dominate the running time, which is going to be linear over here, right? Still. So adding the previous reference for each doubly linked node is not going to improve the performance for adding uh, to the middle. It's not going to improve, right? Let me uh, annotate that quickly. You can see over here, the get node at over here is still going to dominate the running time. This part over here is actually going to dominate the running time. Still dominates the running time, which is big O of n, where n is simply the number of nodes in the list. All right. Okay, it's also very important for you to note, right? So adding the previous reference is not going to, it's going to help you on uh, imp improving the performance for remove last, but it's not going to help you improve the, uh, improve the performance for add add. It's still linear time. Okay, we'll, we'll do a summary table at the end. All right, let's now move on to removing notes from the list.